Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf, and it looks like we have a letter. Ah, hello Vermeer, I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox, so be sure to check it later. When your mailbox is full, I can't find any more in there, so don't forget to collect your mail, okay? When you have mail, you'll see a blinking sign like you see now. That's how you'll know. Well, I've got to get moving. I'll see you later. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at that. Ah, uh, it's on the bottom screen, sorry. <laughs> um, oh yes, there's a special pouch for your post now. Isn't that nice? All right, it says, to Carmia, congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. You'll do great. Keep it a secret. Okay, did they arrange, this person arrange for us to be the mayor? That's interesting oh wait no I accidentally equipped the fishing rod it is possible right to um put it in the post no I, I feel like there's a way to do that but I don't know how well anyway <laughs> let's see so that's that I really hope that perfect fruit isn't in the bad spot and will actually grow. Um, let's try not to kill too many more flowers. Why was there a bug rolling that that snowball? I'm sorry, do any of the developers in, of Animal Crossing actually live in an area which gets snow? Because seriously, it, it, you don't see bugs when it's snowing. And, and also, the waterfall is so beautiful. I can only see the corner of it, but it's so beautiful, and the lighting is lovely. Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this. It's gorgeous. Sorry, <laughs> excited. I still have some, you know, little town maintenance things to do. I need to, a few more pieces of fruit I need to pick. I think there's a fossil I missed somewhere. Oh, hello. Hi there, Miss Mayor. It's me, Cookie. You looked so cool planting that tree today. It was obvious to everyone in the event plaza that you're going to be a very dependable town leader. With your help, we can really put Plymouth on the map as a cool place to live, Arthur. She's really cute. Also, I have a few girls. That's nice. Hi there. Do you, like, need me for anything? Hey, you have a house now, right? Well, congrats to you. Now it's time to make your home truly all about you, Carnia. If you need things for your home, visit Nookling Junction. And for clothes, head to the Able Sisters. I love going to all the places along Main Street often, since the stuff for sale changes daily. Actually, I don't have a house yet. I'm still in a tent, but, you know. Oh, well. I'm sure that'll be fixed soon, right? Try not to murder more flowers. Also, how are the flowers growing at this time of the year? It's okay. I think that was all of the fruit on this side. Um, and here is the bridge. Yeah, I think there are a few here I missed. Indeed. Um, I'm not sure when you get access to a lot of other things like the tropical island. Probably not the first day. Oh, here's another one. And there's another one over there. I'm still really amazed that I got a um, perfect um, fruit on my first day. That's really cool. Hopefully, um, as I said, I planted it in the correct location and it will actually grow and produce more perfect fruit. Oh, my pockets are full. Hmm. I have anything to drop it. Well, that's awkward. I'll have to come back for it. <laughs> when I go to the beach to pick the shells, then I'll also do that, I suppose. Looks like they're... Um, I'll take a screenshot of the map sometime and put it up on screen so that you guys can see what the town looks like. Um, but for now, I have some stuff to sell, because I'm poor, I need to make some bells. It's only 7.36, so everything should still be open. I don't know what time they close. Welcome, welcome, come on in. He's so excited. Our shop does not offer a point system, so we ask for your understanding. We do. Oh, how can we help you? Yes, yes, of course. What would you like to sell? All of my apples. Because I have a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. Here we are. 
Hmm, that would mean... Yes, I can buy those from you for a total of 880 bells. Okay. Thanks kindly for your patronage. Feel free to use our services again at your leisure. We'll be here. Thank you. Thank you for visiting. Come again. Are there like two shops? No, this is just an extra little door, I suppose. So you know what? I wasn't sure I was gonna do this, but you know what? Let's 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 tour Main Street this episode and see all the shops. Welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the Able Sisters. Are you by any chance the new mayor everyone's talking about? Oh, everyone around town has been buzzing about you, so you were quite easy to recognize. As you can see, our store mostly specializes in handmade clothes. If you'd like accessories, please look in the accessories shop that's right next door. Thank you. Oh, hello. I just can't let my claws stray from all this work. I'm sorry. Well, all right. At least I got to say hello. So, waitress dress. The official vibe of the waitress dress is nice, right? I'm a real fan. That item costs 800 bells. What do you think? Well, you know, I would like to try it on. You know what it reminds me of? No, I don't like it. I don't look marvelous. No, no, no thanks. Bye. Oh, okay. Never mind then. This is kind of cute, but I don't know. I'm kind of rocking my current look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, a grey tartan skirt! Isn't that iconic look really nice? The price for this item is 360 bells. I'd like to try that on. Oh my, you look marvellous! The price is 360 bells. Are you interested in this item? Mmm, it doesn't really match with my current jumper, but at the same time... I wear a tartan and houndstooth a lot. So I can always hold out for a better jumper to go with it. Thanks! Yes, 360 bells here! By the way, this is the first time we've bought clothes here, right? This is a small store, but we still have new items every day, so please come back again soon! Okay, so I can't buy any other, like, jumpers or anything like that yet. Oh, like... Some patterns here... okay. Hey! And let's come in to view look at the accessories. Hello. We deal in hats and accessories in this department of the store. Alright. Um, none of them appeal to me today, sorry. Over time. Thanks. Maybe next time. And here is the museum. Let's pop in on one of my favorite characters. Look, he's awake! Ooh, I welcome you to the Plymouth Museum. Ooh, aren't you our new mayor? I am Blathers, the director of this museum. It is my honor entirely to make your acquaintance. Our museum exhibits the very best in archaeology, the natural sciences, and art, fine and otherwise. Ooh, there I go again. You'll find that each time I open my beak, ten words fall out when two will do. I do apologize. I've been trying to get better, but when I have a thought that takes flight... Never mind. Let me start over with... Ooh, fewer words. This museum exhibits insects, fish, assessed fossils, and artwork. The reason? To make Plymouth as great as it can be. But here is our problem. We are currently exhibiting... nothing. <sighs> Ooh, it's a tad embarrassing. But perhaps you can help? Hooty hoo, you can! If you donate your precious finds to the museum, I would be eternally grateful, as would all of Plymouth. I guess they put all of the money into building the museum and they forgot to allocate some money for, you know, exhibits. <laughs> How may I be of service? Please assess a fossil for me. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? Well, I currently have two fossils. Just this one for now. Um. I've heard that if you give him multiple fossils at once, then if he, you get a full fossil, he won't actually give you his spiel about it. And I like his spiel. Let me just see here. Hmm, well. Oh, hoo-hoo. After some consideration, I declare it to be a diplo hip. 
Yes, without a doubt. We don't have this fossil in our collection. Would you consider donating it, Carmia? Of course. Ooh, wonderful. I'll add it to our collection. You have my thanks. Ooh, if only we had the other pieces, this fine creature would be complete. May I offer any further assistance? Ooh, what would you like me to assess? Another fossil? Let me just see here. Hmm, well, oh, hoo hoo! Eureka! Yes, most certainly. It's in a potter's skull. We don't have this fossil in our collection. Would you consider donating it, of course? Ooh, wonderful. I'll add it to our collection. You have my thanks. Ooh, if only we had the other pieces, this fine creature would be complete. May I offer any further assistance? Not at the moment, that's all I have. Sorry. Then please enjoy the rest of your visit. Well, there is not much to look at yet, but I can at least see how the building is set up. Ooh, this looks a little bigger. Oh, uh, there's more? Okay. Load. Oh, look, there's a painting! I don't see any, um, any of the items I donated yet. I only donated two of them, so... Wow, this is really big. We're here. I'm going to get lost in the museum, guys. It's that big. Here's the first thing I donated. Cool. And the next thing. Oh, and there's another painting. Lovely. I might get lost here sometimes. <laughs> it's a little bit big. Three rooms for just this area. Wow. Okay. That's there's there's a lot to find, isn't there? See what I mean? This game's gonna keep us busy a lot longer. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look now at the art area. Oh, not art area. This is where the insects go. Um, you know, let's leave it like this. Let's just leave it like this. Um, nice garden, no insects whatsoever. How about that? That sounds great. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a few things for it. But seriously, this is so cute. Why would I want to mar it by putting all of those horrible monsters in it? Right now it's a really cute little, you know, garden area. I like that better. Ooh. Look, look, it's a Reflecia Arnoldii. Oh, so cool. I'm not sure if it's the Arnoldii, actually. It's not quite that big, but whatever. Isn't that cool? Oh. You see, why would I want to ruin this by putting bugs in it? Ugh, it's such a lovely area. Just as it is. It's the garden exhibit. It's really cute, wow. This is so much better than the museum in Wild World. So much more attractive, even when it's empty. Loading, loading. Here we are. Ooh. Look, I can see some little whirly things and lots of tanks and very lovely atmosphere. Ooh, cool. I haven't been to an aquarium in real life in so long. Not just with the pandemic, but um, Aquariums are a little tough for me. I don't like crowds and people are always all crowded in aquariums. Ugh. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's kind of, oh, this is so pretty. It kind of takes out some of the joy for me a bit because I have to spend so much time just trying to avoid other people bumping into me. It makes it a little bit difficult. So now I get to enjoy one in Animal Crossing instead. Oh, and the mat tells you that you're going back to Blathers. Aww. Okay, let's very quickly look at the area for the art. I bet they've done something nice with that too. Hmm, oh yes, this is nice. All right, so this one, the rooms are the same, okay. Looks like there might be things other than paintings too, like maybe statues. Interesting. There's a lot to find, okay. 
oh yes, looks like paintings will go on the wall and then statues or something will go in the middle. Cool. Well, it's no Detroit Institute of the Arts. So that's a very, very nice art museum, but it's very nice and empty. We'll work on that. All right. So I guess maybe that board is just saying, hey, we'll build something here later. I'm not sure. That's the post office. I don't actually need anything at the post office yet, but maybe I'll just pop in and see what it looks like. This is a real upgrade from Juban. We actually have a post office, which is a post office and not actually City Hall. <laughs> Welcome to the Plymouth Post Office. What can I help you with today? Um, hmm, actually nothing. <laughs> Send mail, save mail, something about a present. Okay, well, please consider us for all your future postal needs. Cool, okay. It's very cute in there, but um, I don't have anything to do today. Um, I'll check on them another day. Looks like this is boarded up and empty. And a photo booth. Okay. I don't think I need that just yet. Oh, this is so cute. Pretty view. I sort of found the perfect balance where you have the ocean, but you have the feeling of, you know, the forest as well and the beautiful sky. It's just really lovely. Mm. One thing that I'm a little disappointed by, it's not the game's fault, but I suspect there won't be snow on the ground for much longer. I've heard that it does. Um, stop sometime in February, so... <sighs> Meanwhile, February is actually one of the best months for winter in Detroit. January and February are the snowiest, actually. And usually there's a lot less snow in, um... Well, there's still a fair bit in March. March is still cold, but it's not as freezing and not as snowy. And then you get around to about, um... Starting in April, it's cold, but it's sort of, like, a cold spring. Yeah. I just wish it was winter all the time though. That would be much better for me. <laughs> but what can you do? <sighs> you know, if I wanted to live somewhere even colder, I wouldn't have access to things like a Japanese grocery store and a Korean grocery store and lots of international groceries. So trade-offs, right? Like sure, I could move to Alaska, but um, there's not really much to do in Alaska unless you like the wilderness and I'm not really. Oh, look! I wonder how you do this in this game. Hopefully you don't need to connect to a Nintendo GameCube in order to visit the tropical island. That, that, that was not really feasible in the last game. <laughs> so yeah. The little fish. I don't know if I'll be trying to catch any fish eventually. I don't know that I'm going to be very good at it though. I'm always terrible at it, to be frank. I don't know if they've improved the fishing a bit from Wild World because the Wild World, world fishing was a little bit mm, not pleasant, to be entirely frank. Oh yes, of course, there's actually the other side of the beach too, but my inventory is getting nearly full, so I should probably go back to Main Street. Oh! More apples! And another digging spot. Well, I only have space now for these more these apples, so I'll just pick these and then go back to Main Street. And, um, oh, retail as well. Okay, um, ah, so many things to do. Okay, I'm gonna visit retail and then off screen I'll visit Main Street and get back to the beach, I think. Mrs. Reese, ma'am, I have something I'd like to sell. Oh, hello, Timmy. What did you bring for me today? 
I have a tape deck I'd like you to look at. Okay, I can take it off your hands for 175 bells. Or you could set your own price and put it in the back for somebody else to buy. Which would you like? Nah, that amount is completely fine. I'd much rather sell it outright. It's just something a customer brought into our shop. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Okay, understood. Thank you! Oh! <laughs> Thank you! With your help, we've been able to recycle and refurbish so very many things. If your customers keep bringing you items like this, feel free to come and sell them here. Of course! Well then, I'll be off! Ah, sorry to make you wait! I must take off now, but please come by my shop to chat when you get the chance. Love to see you! Aww, they're so cute. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Welcome to the Recycle Shop Retail. Oh my, would you happen to be the new mayor? I'm so happy you decided to stop by our humble little shop. What an honor. Our shop buys items and furniture to resell here. We'll also pay a premium for any high value items listed on the board in front of the shop. In addition to selling to us outright, you can set your own price and put items on display for others to buy. So mayor, if you have something you no longer need, please feel free to bring it by for a fair price. Okay, and they also have a few things for sale here, but it's nothing I want. But still, worth taking a look as well. I mean, there is a bed, but I'm fine. I don't need a bed. Right, right. Oh, look, he's asleep. Stop! My darling is extremely tired from working all night, so please let him get some sleep, okay? Of course, the best way to make sure he gets his sleep is to yell at the top of your lungs that you should be quiet so he can get some sleep. <laughs> Thank you, come again. That makes so much sense. Not really. <laughs> Alright, get extra bells today if you sell the following. Football fish. Okay, I see. That's cool. Well, at this point I'm going to go and sell the items I have in my inventory and I will do that off screen. Alright, so is Barack different? What's this? The rock broke apart and something was inside? Amethyst. No. <laughs> there, I need to pick it up. Okay, so that's a little different. Well, I guess I can remove that. I also found two more fossils. And it turns out that here, um, under the bridge, there are quite a few more apple trees near Margie's house. So I'm going to pick some more apples. Um, I also killed my first flower off screen. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, hello! Let's talk to Margie again since she's right outside her house. Hello again, Carmia. The weather was great today, huh? I got lots of fresh air, Tutti. So, what can I do for you? Did you know the apple is the official fruit of Plymouth? They're quite delicious, and you can eat them right off the tree. Just place a tree with its fruit on it and press A to shake it loose. To pick up your fruit, press Y. Um, I can pick up anything on the ground. You can also sell fruit at retail at a town's recycling shop. In my opinion, selling fruit is the best way to make money when you're just starting out. So I can just sell it at retail rather than having to go um, to Main Street. Okay. That's good to know. Well, I did miss that one. Maybe miss that rock. But anyway, more apples. Oh no, my pockets are full. Oh dear. Well, I'm going to be doing this a few more times, so I need to get to the bridge and I'll see how selling items at retail works. I don't know if it's going to be a little different or what. Oh, hello! Brrr, Carmia. Sometimes it gets a little chilly at night, huh? Like, whoa! What can I help you with? I'm at the alpaca's retail shop all the time. I sell them my furniture, clothes, fruit, shells. I think they would buy just about anything if you took it to them. Sometimes I just sell everything in my house so I can replace it all with new stuff. Moving stuff is quite the workout, you know? I wish I could move all my stuff every day. Anyway, stop by retail and check it out. Like, whoa! Uh, um, sir? Are you involved in money laundering by any chance? The way you refer to selling everything in your house and buying all new stuff is very suspicious. Actually, one of my favorite childhood books is 
an Australian novel by Elizabeth Honey called 4547 Stella Street and Everything That Happened. And in it, the very obnoxious new neighbors turns out they're money laundering. They're constantly throwing out a whole bunch of really expensive stuff and buying more new expensive things. And they're using the purchases to cover their money laundering. Oh, hello there, welcome. Yes, can I help you? I want to sell. Oh, that can also turn up prices there too. You want to sell something, do you? What did you bring in? Just some, you know, boring stuff, apples, um... Oh, I have an amethyst. Do I sell that to her too? I guess. Is this everything then? I'll start crunching the numbers right away. Well then, I could probably part with 3,000 bells for all of it, if that sounds okay with you. Sure, I guess the amethyst was worth something. Thank you. Come back with more anytime you like. Alright. Excellent. Thank you. Come again. I will. Alright. So, there's so much stuff. Like, in Wild World, I mean, you had... You had two shops. And only one of them was really worth anything. Sorry, Able Sisters, I love you, but you didn't have much going on there in Wild World. It's... it's I just, it's so exciting, there's so much stuff. Oh, look at that, um, uh, a thing that I can't do because I don't have a slingshot. It's a present that I can't pick up. That's okay. Oh, it looks like there's some snow just built up under the bridge, that's interesting. Is it snow or is it meant to be a rock? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't think the snow um, would, you'd have to be in the Arctic for the salt water to freeze easily. Well, anyway. Even though this winter is turning out to be nicer than some of the others, they're still noting that there's way less ice cover on the Great Lakes than there ought to be. The global warming, you're depressing as ever. So, here we are. I think, oh, one more. Two more. Three more. Will I even have inventory space for all of it? No, I don't. Whoops. That's okay. You know, I want to say that I don't run like this in real life, but who knows, maybe I do. <laughs> I never exactly watched myself running. Oh, hello there. Welcome back. Yes, I know, I'm in and out very quickly. So tomorrow is Sunday. I guess Joan will be in, but I don't know that I really want to be taking the risk of the turnips right now when I'm just starting out. It's also Valentine's Day. I wonder if there'll be any sort of event. Is this everything then? I'll start crunching the numbers right away. I could probably part with 1,830 bells for all of it, if that sounds okay with you. Wow, and that's just shells. I guess shells must be worth more in this game than they were in um, Wild World, because in Wild World I would have been lucky to get like 200 bells for that number of shells. Alright, I'm already at 7,000 bells. Thank you, please come again. Probably in a few minutes. <laughs> well, actually, I think that what I might do now is head back down to Town Hall and see if Isabel has anything to um, talk about. Oh, Mayor Carnia, is everything all right? If you're troubled about what to do, seeing that you just moved here, I could give you some advice. Okay, I can give you advice on making the most of your life here. After all, it's my job to make sure being a resident in Plymouth is top-notch, Carmia. However, I might need to get really detailed and talk for long periods of time. So, you know, it might be hard to listen to me go on and on. If you're in a hurry, hold on, B, and I'll be sure to talk faster. Let's see, what kind of advice would be good for you right now? Ah, come to think of it. Have you met Gruff yet? He might seem scary at first, but he's actually a big softy, even if he tries to act all serious. Carmia, please go introduce yourself to Gruff. If this house has lights on or smoke is coming from the chimney, it means he's at home. The only reason you'd be denied entry is if he's sick or asleep. Otherwise, knock and go on in. Alright, I haven't spoken to that villager yet. I've spoken to a few of them, but I guess I missed him. Well, I'm just going to take a look at my map here. I'm sorry you guys can't see it. I should probably take a screenshot of the map at some point.
I've spoken to Robin Margie Cookie Sparrow, not Gruff. All right, his house is nearby. Cool. Well, that's so neat. It actually, um, I don't know if you guys can't see it, but it's lit up on the screen so that I can actually find it a bit more easily. That's great because I have zero sense of direction, so I may need this feature. So, this is Gruff's house. Okay, he's the last villager I haven't spoken to, so time to introduce myself. His name is Gruff, so you can guess what kind of villager he is. Hello. Hey, Mayor. I really enjoyed that tree planting ceremony. Beautiful. I got blindsided by emotion. Well, let's combine our strength and make this town a great one. Wow, that is such a Japanese line. I actually know what it would be in Japanese, probably. Chikara o awase. I know I have a terrible accent in Japanese. I feel so bad about it. <laughs> Yo, Carmia, what do you want? Bleh. Now that I think of it, do you have any equipment yet? I'm talking about nets, fishing rods, shovels, those sorts of things. With a net, you can catch bugs. And with a fishing rod, you can catch fish. Funny how that works. You'll be able to sell both bugs and fish at the retail recycle shop, so head there when you need cash. Blabbers over at the museum would probably prefer you donated stuff, though. <laughs> you can use a shovel to dig holes in the ground. So yeah, it does shovel things, but it can't dig everywhere. When you take a close look at the ground, you might see suspicious marks. That's where stuff is buried. Yes, I've been doing that. Okay, okay. Yes, um... You know, I've already said this, but it's important enough that I'll tell you again. Buy your equipment as soon as you possibly can. Okay, that's all I need to say. See you later. Looks like he has a whole bunch of arcade stuff in here. That's really cool. And also, music equipment. Okay. Is that a bed? That looks like a... That's interesting. Okay. Sorry for sleeping on your bed. I didn't know it was a bed. <laughs> Right, so I guess I can now report into Isabel that I did what she told me to. There's the square, here's City Hall, and there's retail. I felt like everything was kind of nicely situated. Oh, Mayor Carmia, is everything all right? If you're troubled about what to do, seeing that you just moved here, um, does she have anything else to say? Okay, I can give you advice on how to make the most of your life. Hmm. Ah, that reminds me. Do you feel like you've gotten to know everyone in town now? I bet all the residents wish they could become better friends with you, Carmia. If you see people from town walking around, feel free to stop them for a chat. Hmm, what else? Ah, I got it. Carmia, have you ever written a letter before? Everyone in town loves letters. Even close neighbors often send letters just to, to each other, just because. We really do have a fantastic postal system, if I can boast for a moment or two. If you want to write a letter, you'll need some stationery. If you're okay with regular lined paper, I have some I can give you. I want you to put it to good use. You can use letters to greet new neighbors, introduce yourself, or for any reason whatsoever. Anyone would be happy to get a handwritten letter from you. However, sometimes townsfolk get so happy they show off any old letters they get to other people. I advise you not to write anything you wouldn't want others to see. Just assume everyone will read it. When you want to write a letter, press X or touch on the touch screen to access your pockets. Select the stationery from your pockets and then choose write a letter. Next, choose the name of the person you're sending it to. Then write the contents of the letter. After that, you can attach an item from your pockets as a present. Once your letter is ready to send, you can mail it using the post office on Main Street. Okay, so actually at the moment I, I think I'm going to not write any letters. I want to see if I can use them for storage again. Yes, the recipient is future me. All right, um, I am going to write to myself. Hi. Done. I am an excellent letter writer. All right, now let us see if I can actually hold this and put it on letters. There we are! Fishing rod. I might try some fishing tomorrow, but tonight I'm a little bit tired to still be doing that as well, so I won't worry about that. All right, I'll just create some letters for inventory space. You can't see them, but that's okay. I can write real letters to animals at some other point, but right now I'm a little bit, you know, I've got enough going on. 
not a very good um, correspondent actually. I always forget to actually write people letters. All right. Sorry, you're just staring at us. Um, Isabel's staring at me like, what are you doing? Are you really just going to write all of your letters here? All right, now I have some storage space for my tools. Let's see which one's which. Um, present, that's the shovel, it's the first one, okay. I suppose I could probably keep the shovel for now, accessible because I, you know, it's fine. Okay, I think there were just like one or two fruits that I missed. I think I missed a fruit over by Margie's and there are one or two shells that I missed, so I'll do that, um, I'll just go do that quickly. Well, it looks like the last thing to do for the evening is donate my last two fossils to Blathers. I'm glad I found all four. Who? I welcome you to the Plymouth Museum. Mm -hmm. Who? How may I be of, be of service? Not assistance, service. <laughs> Who? What would you like me to assess? I'll just do both fossils at once this time. Hopefully it's nothing like a dinosaur egg that he might have spoken about. We'll see. Oh, who? More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Hoo hoo! All of these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. What a surprise! You have a knack for finding fossils, don't you? I'm incredibly jealous. I hope I can convince you to donate them for Plymouth's cultural development. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating them, though. Hoo! May I offer any further assistance? Make a donation. <laughs> what would you like to donate? Oh, I see. So now I can tell. Stego skull and Iguanodon torso. So since I know that they're both um, not a single piece and I won't get a spiel from them, I can just donate them both at once. Okay, that works out. Hoot hoot! Oh, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Hoot hoot! We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? Sorry, that's all I found for today. And please enjoy the rest of your visit. Well, actually, I, I'm kind of done now. <laughs> it's okay. So cute. Have I mentioned how much I love Main Street? I mean, this is the kind of place I like going and shopping and browsing around in real life. You know, maybe sometime soon I'll go back to Northville. Um, they have a little tiny Millbase historic village where they've reconstructed some of the um, town's old historic buildings, and it's really cute. Um, it's they don't have any of the buildings open in winter, even despite the pandemic. Even you know, disregarding the pandemic, they they're never open in winter, which is annoying because I never want to wander around outside in summer because it's hot and there are bugs. But anyway, I'm kind of thinking of doing that sometime now. It's kind of inspired me a bit. I could take some nice pictures and maybe I could get something at the bakery in Northville. Oh, this is so cute. Oh. Really charming. The sky, um, the stars are so pretty. Looks like we don't have an aurora tonight, unfortunately, but the stars are beautiful. They're, they're rainbow. They don't look like that in real life, but it's beautiful. A few boarded up buildings, but I'm sure that will change given time. All right, I think that's all there is to do for today in Plymouth. As always, thank you so much for watching and please stay safe. Until next time, bye bye. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm.